Hey, today I'm in the Cassard, and I, this, I have to tell you guys, this is my very first game in this ship. I've never played it before. Um, I, you can watch, see my videos on the Orage and what I think of her. Um, they're up on my channel and available for all. Uh, the Cassard, of course, is the Tier 10, new Tier 10 French torpedo boat. And I say torpedo boat because although the guns are Marso guns, she has four torpedo launchers capable of launching two spreads of three from her port and starboard rails. That's quite significant. And those torpedoes do quite a bit of significant damage. Um, if you're wondering what that was, uh, it's the Red October event, uh, the black marker for bounty hunter ships that are marked with an target you can see the lepanto the Ugumo on our team jaeger on the enemy team those those circular targets and you get points for sinking them um but of course inevitably you don't get enough points and inevitably you're probably going to get your checkbooks out uh or at least that was what war gaming was i can't be bothered with that event if i'm honest i'm i'm just here to enjoy the new ships and um so let's get on with the Cassard. I'm doing 35.8 knots. The torpedoes do just over 24,000 damage and have a range of 13.5 kilometers. They're best used at ranges of 7 kilometers or less. That's where they do their maximum damage of uh, just over 24,000 each, which is sort of shimikaze levels of craziness. And they're harder to detect than the Shima torps. But I'll show you my build and uh, have a chat about uh, the ship at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Okay, torpedo sign. So there's probably a destroyer close by. Now the speed boost allows the ship to do 46 knots, which is quite significant. You get five of these, and as you saw when I thumped, 155 seconds of glorious speed which is very nice to have I'm gonna park it here being very cautious because I've never used this ship before cooldown time is 85.5 seconds aha those are Jaeger talks so the bounty hunter mark Jaeger is close by and there's also a Cassard on the mini-map there, a Illinois, and... Oh, hello, a Bogonia. There's the Jaeger. Okay. I don't see why we can't just put a few shells into him and move away. Set him on fire, but he's had to repair. Our Catalonia is YOLOing <laughs> into the cat. Wow. But, sir, there's an Illinois over there and a Yoshino. I don't think he's long for this world. There's also a Rochester. They've got a lot of ships here, haven't they? And there's just little old me, a submarine, the U-190, and the Catalonia, who's not long for this world. Oh, here come the Jaeger tour. Yep. And he's gone. Okay. So, it's just me. <laughs> and a submarine all the way down at uh, I-2. Who has absolutely no interest in the cap whatsoever. I think he's hunting the uh, battleships. Oh, hello. I got a hit. Was that you? Was that the Bagania? Might have been. Alright. As soon as they realise I'm on my own, they're going to just push straight in. Ah, another hit. Okay. 13k. Not bad. You see, the torpedoes aren't terrible at uh, any range. Uh, they do reasonable damage. Uh, they just do a crap ton more at ranges of 7 kilometers. Right, we're just going to launch our uh, port rail torpedoes now and move away. Because 
as you can see, coming into A right now are two very big battleships, the Illinois and the Bologna. They have a Rochester backing them up, a Yoshino sitting at the back doing the long-range HE spam that they're so famous for. Another hit with uh, the torpedoes on the Bologna. Just uh, send some more torps this way. It'd kind of be rude not to, right? <laughs> and I think it's time I made myself scarce. So we're going to hit the speed boost. And as you can see, the speed is climbing nicely all the way up to 46 knots. And again, another hit. Yes, we are. And another flood. Okay. We're going to get another hit. Yes, we are. Okay. All right. So we're already up to 83,263 damage. With five torpedo hits and three floodings. Now, I, at this stage, I would open fire on the uh, Magonia and melt him. But he's healing. And I don't know where the Kassad is on the enemy team. I don't know where the Jaeger is. And I'm very likely to be lit. And I don't have smoke. So we're going to stay ghosted. We're going to stay stealth. And I'm thinking the Illinois is moving across to B along with the Yoshino and there's an opportunity here to lay some torpedoes along the channel so I'm just gonna wait here with my Yugumo friend who's probably had the same idea <laughs> yeah yeah he's definitely had the same idea he missed with those didn't he, on the Illinois but okay Let's see if we can do better I mean my torps almost do 80 knots so there's that. Uh, if we can get a little closer. Okay, there's a seven kilometer window. Okay, so we've we've sent a torpedo wall into the channel between A and B. And we're now just moving across. They look good. Yeah, yeah, they look good. They have potential. Oh, I'm lit. Okay, what have we got? Cassard. Okay, the Cassard's come north. Right. Okay. I got two hits with the torpedoes on the Illinois, I do believe. Okay, another two hits with the torpedoes. He's got to deal with this Cassard. He's chasing me like a rampant Jack Russell. And I've lost the torpedo tube set. That's bad. In fact, I've lost two sets of torpedoes. Damn it. And this is why I don't think this is a hybrid as such. I mean, sure, you can use the guns in situations where you you feel safe behind an island. Come on, let's see if we can get this guy down. Come on. Come on. About there. That should do it. Is that going to do it? Yeah, good. Okay, so we got rid of the enemy Kassad. We still have 11k health left, but we have now lost two of our four torpedo launchers. And uh, that's not good. So, thoughts. I don't think you really want to be running and gunning with this torpedo boat. I think you, you want to play her as a torpedo boat. And I think, yes, use the guns. They are strong. But use them from situations where you're not going to get detected and use them in situations like the one I just had where you encountered a destroyer and you need to basically run. If you can't run and go dark and it's going to turn into a full gun engagement, then yes, by all means use the guns. But don't be surprised if you lose a few torpedo launches along the way. Okay, Yugumo just took out the Illinois. We're up to 154k damage from farming the channel with our torpedoes, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um... Uh, Gearing's taken out of the Mecklenburg and uh, moving into Cap. Uh, we have a slight ship lead and the team's doing well, although they do have two Caps. Uh, I still can't believe I lost two torpedo launches. Damn it. So she's quite fragile in a gunfight. Okay, bear that in mind. I mean, you'll see my build at the end of the uh, video, so check it out. But I, I built specifically into the torpedoes 
just as I did with the Orage. It's the same build as I have in the Orage because of situations like this. You, you don't really want to use the guns much. Her bread and butter is a torpedo. At least I've got one set each side, right? <laughs> oh, oh god, there's the Awami. Okay, a little closer than I would like, but uh, this is another situation where I'm going to have to use the guns. And I mean, to be honest, the arcs on them are more favourable than on the Marceau. They're the same guns. They don't fire quite as fast. But they fire pretty fast. Uh, I think it's every four seconds. Except, of course, I've got Adrenaline Rush on, so it's going to be more like every two. Is he coming for me? He's coming. Okay, but his guns are pointed the other way. That's great. That's good. Okay, and he's, he's down. Okay. Good. I think those torps would have got him, but... Uh, okay. So, what have we got? We've got a Rochester and a Yoshino closing on our position. The Yoshino's gone low, the Rochester's going high, and I'm lit. So, there must be... That That would be the Jaeger. The Jaeger... I'm guessing the Jaeger must be above me. From uh, that detect. So he's just come round the island. Yeah, there he is. Round the island above me and dropped a uh, nice little spread for me. I have, I have very considerate of him. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, he's a, he's a bounty ship. He's got his bounty marker on. All right, well, we're going to keep him lit for the team, but only because he fired, I do believe. He must have fired his guns, surely. Okay, we've got some hits there. Need to avoid fire from the Rochester so I don't lose any more torpedo uh, launchers. Yoshino is uh, thinking about coming my way. I'm going to leave some torpedoes for both of those ships. And then we're going to go dark. <laughs> I want that Jaeger. I really do. Okay, the Yoshino has uh, decided to bail. Rochester's still having a go at me, even though you can't see me. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Not bad guesses, either. Not bad guessing at all from the Rochester there. All right. Now, they've left the cap open. Yoshino's leaving. They've got a salmon near our gearing. Hopefully our gearing will deal with him and the Lepanto. The Lepanto and gearing will probably deal with the salmon. So we're just going to pop in and cap. I got a torpedo hit on the Rochester, didn't I? <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> I love this ship, if I'm honest. Um, she's a lot of fun. Uh, she's got the French saturation, so she gets... Uh, she, her modules saturate faster than other destroyers, meaning she will take less damage over time, which is great. Uh, from from HE, of course, uh, which gives her some survivability. That's for sure. The 6.1 kilometer detect ain't bad either. It's pretty good. I'm going to see if I can get up to this island and fire on the Yoshino. It's a bit rude, but as long as that sub stays down, I mean, he won't like me. I should be able to do this with impunity. Let's have a look. Can I fire from there? Yeah. The gun arcs aren't quite as high as the Marceau's, but they're high enough to shoot over or project over low islands like this one. That's beautiful. Aww. Lepanto. I'm trying to do a video here. Anyhow, you, you get the idea. You can shoot over islands. Very, very straightforward. Okay. Subsign. Uh, oh no, subsign. Is that subsign? Yeah, those are salmon torps, aren't they? And the ones on the surface. Ah, I see they're coming up and then hitting the surface and becoming full blown torpedoes. That's the salmon. So he's just ahead of the gearing. The gearing's chasing. Okay. I'm going to move across to A with the gearing. And above us, we've got the Rochester and. Diego. This is uh, quite a close match. We've got the Yamato coming out of sea. He's miles away. Don't think he's going to have much impact, but you never know. Well, 
What is this sub? Gearing's taking a wild guess. There's the Rochester. There's the Rochester. Put some torps down for him. He's absolutely convinced the sub's here, doesn't he? Okay, I'll join in the madness. Drop some depth charges of my own. Gonna fire on the Rochester. He's on he really is on my case, isn't he? My goodness. This guy is really on it. Torps look good. Torps look good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take it. I like that. Uh, it's a bit overkill, but I'll take it. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm probably just having an incredibly lucky first go, right? But I do like the cassade. I like the package. I like what you get with this ship. She's a lot of fun. Uh, she is a lot of fun. And uh, I've been unleashing absolute devastation everywhere I go with her. So, uh You'll probably be seeing more videos on this ship on my channel uh, from time to time because, uh, damn. <laughs> okay, we're going to cap A. Okay, Salmon's running. He's been a sneaky little Salmon. Hasn't he? You see, the reason he was so hard to find and he's been so hard to track down, although I think the Lepanto's finally got him. Yeah is because he never pinged. He never pinged. And if a sub doesn't ping, it's really hard to go on where they are. You can, you can see where their talks are coming from roughly. You get rough ideas, but you have to catch him on the surface on uh, low battery or something like that to take him out. Okay, the Jaeger just took out our Yamato. Cheeky. And is that the Jaeger at sea? Yeah, I think he's at sea. Okay, pretty obvious, really. So the Jaeger's still up. Bounty's still up. We still have two, and, two minutes and 50 seconds in this match. Points are fairly even. And he's just capped C. So if he wants to win this match as a solo warrior, he's going to have to come to B at some stage. So we're going to intercept him. I'm going to go to B with the gearing. And hopefully we can get this bounty ship. See what we can do. I've actually run out of speed boost because this has been a really long match. A really long match. However, I hit 36 knots just then, didn't I? Okay, interesting. I guess the base speed is a little higher than I thought. All right. It's not great, mind. We're, we're in the uh, same territory as Sherman's and uh, Jutland's and Daring's. Very slow, uh, very slow speed. But at least we got the speed booster that gives us 46 knots. And we get five of them, which is lovely. Okay, moving into the cap with the gearing. I'm going to go right side. The gearing's going to go left. I'm going to go to the starboard side of this island, and he's going to go to the port side of the island. I'm on RPF, so the Jaeger's using RPF, which is smart. Gives him a pretty good idea of where we are, so I'm slowing down, because I suspect he's going to preempt me with ports. He knows I'm behind this island. He, he knows that I've been moving across. Did he launch torque? There he is. Yeah, he launched torque. Of course he did. Okay, gearing's laying into him. And I'm just going to join in now. Now he's fired his torque. See if we can get him. Damn. Yep. <laughs> Stole the bounty hunter from the gearing. Feels bad, man. <laughs> oh that was that was some game 
that was some game. So yeah, okay, I'm 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 converted. I'm 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 definitely a Cassad fan. I like the Arage. Uh, the Le Venture is okay, right? It's okay. La Hardy's great. Most of the ships on this line are either great or okay. Uh, 2306 XP, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to compliment that little beggar. Because <laughs> he was he was good. He was fun to fight. And I'm going to compliment my gearing friend there. Hmm. And, of course, the Panto for catching the salmon and staying alive. Wasn't the easiest match, was it? Uh, and the Yuga. All right, so how do we do? 16K, 12K, that was torpedoes, facade, 9K guns, all HE. 4K, again, all HE. Begonia was pretty much all torpedoes, 67K with 13K floodings, 61K on the Illinois. Well, that was all torpedoes as well, wasn't it? 884 on the Yoshino. Really? Okay. Two of my torpedo launches were destroyed, so bear that in mind. This is why I think the torpedo styles are best. 179,000 total damage, 23,000 with the main battery, 141,000 with torpedoes, 14,000 others, almost 15,000, and 1,000 with fires, and 14,000 with floods. Very good, very good. I like this ship. I was... Uh, not running any boosters, so I got 298,172 with the clan bonuses. Uh, quite happy with that. Okay, let's uh, let's take this ship back to dock and have a chat about the build and uh, the captain build and what I did. Well, I hope you enjoyed my first ever go in the Cassade. Um I think I should now probably take you over the build and share a few more of my thoughts. So, what was I running there? What equipment did I have? Right, well in slot 1 I was using main armaments modification 1. In slot 2, engine boost modification 1. If uh, for some reason you don't have the coal or you don't want to spend the coal, engine room protection will serve you pretty well. Uh, but having that extra 30% speed boost time is well worth it uh, you get five of these and the uptime with the mod is a little under two minutes which uh, is plenty of time to get out of trouble you'll be doing about 46 knots in a straight line with this bad boy and uh, those 46 knots when compared to her base speed of 35.7 come in really handy especially if you need to catch a submarine to depth charge it or you need to get out of trouble. I mean, so far I've been using it to get out of trouble, if I'm brutally honest. Um, and then in slot three, I've gone with torpedo tubes modification one, uh, because she does have very strong torpedoes and she is a torpedo boat at heart. Uh, this increases the torpedo speed by additional 5%. So with this captain build and this mod, Torpedo speed-wise, what are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at 79 knots, so incredibly tough to avoid. Detectability range on those is 1.5 kilometers, and of course, if you manage to catch your target within 7 kilometers of you, you will be doing 24,267 before damage reduction, which is insanely strong. After that, the damage drops off by how much, I have no idea. You still get reasonable numbers, though, usually in uh, five figures. Yes, you heard that right. Five-figure numbers, 10,000, 14,000, 16,000, that sort of thing. And the torpedoes have a range of 13 and a half kilometers. Uh, they also have a reload time with this build of 91.8 seconds. Very strong. In the fourth slot, I've gone with Propulsion Modification 1, which, uh, again, helps you to get out of trouble. Uh, it gives you a 50% reduction in the time it takes you to accelerate to full engine power. It's very useful for jinking shots, uh, varying your speed as you're being shot at, basically, whilst changing course. That can help you to stay alive. It also helps you to go into and out of dangerous situations fast faster because you'll accelerate away much quicker with this so uh, pretty much compulsory really 
Uh, slot 5, Concealment System Modification 1. Again, to bring your concealment down. She does, for a French destroyer, have very good concealment. 6.1 kilometres. It's not the best, but it's pretty okay. She's no ghost, but 6.1 kilometres is very easy to play with. Finally, I've gone with Torpedo Tubes Modification 2 because we want to bring that uh, torpedo reload down on those super powerful torpedoes as fast as possible. So this reduces the reload time by 15%. However, it does come with a risk. Uh, the risk being that your torpedo tubes could become incapacitated. Uh, uh, that chance is increased by 50%. Bear in mind, though, that it is also reduced by 40% with this mod. So up 10%. However, I have noticed straight away, first time using it, I lost two torpedo tube systems, didn't I? Um, what can I say about that? Uh, I'm not so sure I want a gunboat in the Cassard. I think, I think uh, the guns are very good. They're very strong. I'll more about that in a minute. But I feel that the torpedo tubes are quite fragile and you want to stay de undetected and hidden for the majority of the match if you can if you want a gun you can if you if you find an island a corner something on the edge of an island or somewhere where you can project over the top without being detected then yes do by all means use the guns but i was a little concerned when i got into the gunfight with the cassade in that uh, fight just now and found that uh, even though i won it i no longer had two of my torpedo systems uh so i lost the ability to launch six torpedoes which uh, was a bit of a bummer really i still had one each side however so there's that i guess okay well let's talk about the guns let's have a chat about the guns he's got marceau guns yes uh the french tier 10 destroyer marceau uh she has 3.3 second reload on these bad boys they are 127 millimeter he mark 42s uh they have a turn speed on the turret of 10 seconds a max dispersion of 110 meters a maximum range of 12.6 kilometers with this build max damage of 1900 on the hg so the hg is actually quite strong with a seven percent fire chance and the ap does 2450 okay so yes you can use the guns but i would say don't try pick your fights wisely <laughs> it's the word i'd use i didn't have any choice in that one uh, that cassard came and found me so uh but if you can choose your fights choose them people yeah okay let's have a look at the captain's build it's it's exactly the same build i've been running on the orage the lahadi uh, the Le Adventurer, it's it's the classic hybrid build. I say hybrid, this is very building very strongly into the torpedo systems. You start here with preventative maintenance, then you go to last stand, and you take survivability expert, concealment expert, and adrenaline rush. Bank that lot fast. Now, considering what happened to me, I'm thinking <laughs> the next pick should probably be fill the tubes to get your torpedo reload time down. Because that's where you're going to be making most of your your money your bread and butter as you saw in that battle i uh, scored quite a few hits and i did quite a disgusting amount of damage and to be honest that was my first go i wasn't really trying i was just having a little potter to see what this ship could handle and she surprised me she surprised me a lot i think the cassade is a very well-rounded torpedo boat uh she does have weaknesses as you saw um but she is a great ship and she is fun to play i love the whole speed boost mechanic of her it's it's really good uh then after that i probably take main battery and aa specialist to get those guns reloading a little quicker for those times when you can use the guns those rare moments where you can think oh, i can shoot that guy and he and i'm not going to get shot back at so yeah this would be my next pick and then i would finish with swift fish just to bring those torpedoes up from around 74 knots to what speed was it again 79 wasn't it yeah 79 knots there we go so that's the cassade okay let's have a little quick look at maneuverability her base speed is 35.7 as you already know she can do 46 knots with the speed boost on the turning circle is 610 meters something i failed to mention and her rudder shift is a pretty okay four and a half seconds uh her aa defense is pretty adequate I wouldn't say it's brilliant, but it's adequate. You will shoot planes down on this boat if you have to. 
Um, and it, it acts as a minor deterrent. Uh, you have depth charges that go out the back. You have bombs in charge 12, number of charges 2, reload time 40 seconds. So pretty adequate depth charge defense there. And of course, we've done the torpedo tubes. You get four of these. I'll show you exactly where they are on the ship. If you just... You see, they're right on the outside rail. And if you go along, you can see... So they're quite easy to hit, unfortunately. <laughs> if someone's shooting at you with HE, doing AOE damage, they're going to hit your torpedo tubes a lot. So don't be surprised if you don't lose your torpedo tube from time to time. Um, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Thank you.